Apparently, I used to tell my parents that I'd grow up to be a hermit. And that's, I guess, kind of true now. There's just something intriguing about building a home out of mostly natural materials that you can kind of source locally. And the construction that's traditional but, like, artistic at the same time. First thing I did really was uh, I came back to Kentucky after traveling for a while. I was just messing around, living in a van for a bit. And I came back and found some property to buy. There was five acres about a mile down the road from where my mom lives. And it was pretty cheap. Didn't have any utilities or anything. But I had a road to access. And I was like, screw it. I didn't look at any other properties. It was the first property I looked at, and I bought it. And that was that was the first big move. I started clearing out the thicket here. I mean, it was all forest. And um, my other good friend, Nathan, he had been traveling, too, in a fifth-wheel camper. And after he got home to, back to Kentucky, he didn't need the camper anymore, so I bought it from him. I've been living in it for three years as I built the cabin. All the chisels that I use are antique chisels, so they were already produced 50 to 100 years ago. They're just, you know, sitting in people's garages and stuff, and I've got them on eBay and flea markets and stuff like that. So a lot of that is reclaimed. The, the mallets that I use to hammer the chisels I make out here for material. The handles for the chisels we make out here the foundation itself is a stone plinth foundation, so I spent a couple months of literally just hunting stones in the woods, which was really cool, actually. But we found all 20 stones out here in the woods, so our foundation was financially free. I just found big stones and put them in the ground. <laughs> So there were like thousands of years in Japan specifically where they really honed wood joinery and made it really complex and like worthy of temples. So there's joinery out there that's, that's specifically for temples and really beautiful and complex stuff that I won't ever be able to do probably. But even though I can't do that really high level joinery stuff really appealed to me that it was still part of that tradition that that farmhouse tradition like like you cut some trees down you basically whittle out some joinery and you fit it together wood joinery can also be stronger in some some cases like I would pick a wood joint over something nailed together pretty much any day um, it's going to be more flexible. It's going to be easier to repair if something does happen. It's more beautiful. It's more elegant. And it smells good.
my favorite part is seeing seeing two pieces of wood join together. I mean, that's where the magic is. Also, just being in the woods pretty much 24-7 now. It's really different. It's really peaceful out here. <laughs>